All you have to do is compare pictures. A year ago, you saw this in the Gardner Basin. Now, no bison at all. A total difference. A year ago, here in the Gardner Basin, more than a thousand bison were gathered. They were driven out of higher elevations in the park by deep snow that made it nearly impossible for them to find the food they depend upon. Now, well, these plains are empty. All that's here right now is a few elk gathered on a far hillside. From Roosevelt Junction to here near Slough Creek is where you'll find herds of bison gathered right now. The low snows making it much easier for them to gather food. A good 30 road miles from the Gardner Basin. Uh, hunters in the Gardner area really have not had much opportunity uh, just because of these, this light, mild winter that we've had, which has not, uh, not triggered any significant migration outside of the park. A total of 85 bison may be harvested by state hunters. 40 in the Gardner area and 40 near West Yellowstone, plus five in the Gardner back country. So far this season, just 15 bison have been taken in a season that ends February 15th. Last year, tribal hunters took more than 1,200 bison, many right across the street from Bonnie Lynn's vacation rental home. When we had last year over 1,200 gut piles in front of our driveway. Lynn, a longtime opponent of the bison hunt, says it hurts her winter rental business. I had a woman that I had stay at my cabin that worked in the park and she said, I'm out of here. She, she was so upset. So we, I can't have guests there. She says other renters had similar experiences. I can't have people pay money to get on a plane to come here to pay rent to see this and their children? No. While this season's weather means the tribal harvest, which is not really underway yet, will be much smaller, it could grow a lot again next year. It's all dependent on the weather. In Yellowstone National Park, John Shearer, MTN News.